The role of the Navy is often overlooked in Afghanistan, but there are more than 240 sailors working in theatre in technical and admin roles. Training goes on all year round, and today 80 personnel were at the Longmore Camp in Hampshire, honing their skills for work with their Army counterparts. Our reporter, Carla Prater, went to see how they were getting on in the field. A vehicle ambush in the heart of Hampshire. They look like soldiers, but in fact, they're sailors, training for their deployment to Afghanistan. In just a few weeks' time, these members of the Navy will be heading into theatre, swapping the sea for sand, a far cry from what they're used to. One of the biggest shocks was the amount of uh, physical exercise. <laughs> you know, you need to be, you know, um, instead of being sat at a desk, you know, to be running around in the woods, up and down hills, lifting all this equipment as well. You know, it's a bit, it was a bit of a shock, but I'm slowly getting used to it. Training lasts four weeks, starting with weapons. They're moving on to the classroom where they pick up language and medical skills before coming here where they face scenarios like foot patrols and vehicle ambushes, picking up the skills they're going to need when they're out in theatre. They may not be on the front line, but their experience and skills will be used in technical and logistic roles. Lieutenant Commander Mike Thompson normally works as a marine engineer, but soon he'll be working as a safety advisor in Kandahar. A lot, lot more confident. Obviously, it's our, it's our um, lives that, 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 that could be at risk out there, so I do feel a lot more confident. I don't feel I'll be getting in anyone's way. I'll be able to look after myself and keep myself safe. It's really important. Cool. With the warning sirens going off at the FOB and regular drills, there's lots to take on board. But they're being trained up by Royal Marines who've already had operational experience. Some are slower than others, obviously, and you get that anywhere. But a lot of them, yeah, they're all coming on. You know, the drills are getting better and a lot slicker. But obviously that will only improve through time and practice. But yeah, it, altogether, yeah, they've, they've done well. While some struggle, others are relishing the challenge. They may be far from the sea, but they're determined to run with the challenge. Carla Prater, Forces News, Hampshire.